Okay, for those who were not here at the early part of this discussion, so I was discussing to them uh, the course description of our IT. So let me again share file or course specification. We call it course specification. Okay, so I discussed already the catalog description. Uh, the learning outcomes, so we should, upon completion of this course, should be able to do this. Okay, so I need you to uh, check this out. I uploaded this, I uploaded this on Microsoft Teams file. Okay, by the way, for the, uh, this Microsoft Teams that we're using for the online classes, uh, I haven't decided yet what are we going to use, it's either this or the Moodle, which one is easier for me, then we will go for that. So, but since the uh, Moodle is not yet ready until next week, uh, I need we or even all the other classes, it must be on Microsoft Teams, but we will see if I need to change or not. But for now, it's going to be here. So I was discussing uh, learning outcomes, study skills. So the last thing that I discussed was organize a portfolio for the course. So the OneDrive folder that I asked you to do in that online class last two weeks ago, um, or even your teacher maybe, I would, this is what we call the portfolio. These are where you're going to upload your exercises your activities, your assignments, okay, whatever is in there, we're going to put a folder on that portfolio, okay, uh, prepare to meet deadlines for submission of the activities, use time and resources effectively and complete task assessments within the given time limit, so study skills, these are not the academic or the knowledge part, skills that this course also will try to develop on you. Okay, so that's why when you're reading this, discover how to work in groups and understand the importance of teamwork, explain ideas, concepts in their own words, discover new learning techniques, independent learning, mind mapping methods, e-learning, activity-based learning to enhance their learning skills, use internet and IT to do research, discover a new strategy in note-taking, analyze information and recognize irrelevant material. So we are also going to teach this part unknowingly that you are already learning that or applying that on your activities. Okay. So what are the topics? First, we're going to discuss apps and application, understanding apps and application, web, web apps and local apps. I have already introduced that when you say local apps, those are the applications or software that is installed in the laptop, the desktop, or on your mobile phone. Okay, a web app is whenever you use a, a web browser. Okay, so from there you will go to office.com, for example, you log in with your Geotech account. Most of these web apps have needed uh, username and password or an account, of course. Um, even uh, emails, gmails, uh, yahoo mail, okay, uh, msn or hotmail, if you're using those uh, applications, software, it is called web apps or web-based application, okay, so that's what uh, those applications are, so creating documents using MS Word, correct referencing, Managing financial documents using MS Excel. Giving presentations using Microsoft PowerPoint. Managing database and study skills. Okay, the contact hours for this as of now, we are doing online. So it's 36 hour. Actually, it's not per semester, but per term. Okay, so term one. Um, 36 hours because we have four hours a week. So total of 36 because we have nine weeks. Now at this uh, time,
time, uh, this uh, first term, we have used two weeks already for the online classes, which is still not part of the IC3. Although we have introduced you to a lot of tools that will make your life easier when you do your courses in this ITMS. So for now, it's just going to be uh, seven weeks more before we do the exam. But module B, key applications, so it's just an easy topic. So I'll give you enough time to do your exercises and so on. Okay, so when you say self-directed studies, we counted the number of hours that you should do your um, courses, okay? Uh, your assignment exercises that you will spend uh, on your own, okay? So that 18 hours per term. This is term, not semester, by the way. Okay, so test one is key applications. Because IC3 is three parts, so you can that that's why the weight is 33.33%. But in IC3, there's no pass, uh, there's no grade, it's just pass or fail. So for an exam, each exam, let's say this this term, you're gonna do only module B, which is key applications, only one module. You're gonna have an exam. That exam is around 45 at least questions to 48. It depends. It depends on. I, I actually forgot it already. I think it's 48 questions. Okay, out of the 48 question, you need to get 70%. Uh, the scores that you will receive in IC3 is 1,000. Okay, if you got all the answers correct. Now to pass. That's why I said 70%. It must be 700 or more or above and above. Okay, 700 and above. Okay, so that's uh, that's what the uh, second page for each exam. And by the way, the exam is not coming from us. It is coming from a company called Certiport. C e r t i p o r t. Certiport. Okay. Uh, it is a uh, third party okay kind of an exam it's like an IELTS certificate when you go for IELTS it's not coming from British Council it is coming from IELTS British Council is the one delivering the exam for us it's the same Geotech is delivering this IC3 IC3 is from 34 okay when you go to that website 34 there are a lot of exams that you can do and you can, you can take from them Okay, how do we pass this course? Of course, we submit the course portfolio. Uh, submit all MS offices, office exercises and pass key application module exam. So there is a requirement for you to do the exam. For you to do the exam, you must submit all these things. So you must have the portfolio. In the portfolio, what do we have? First thing that you have, to upload on that portfolio, but for now, do not do anything yet because I haven't. Uh, I will give you all the exact uh, instructions. Okay, do not do anything yet. I will do. Uh, I'll give you exact instruction on what should be done. Okay, uh, but that course portfolio is a folder on OneDrive that you will share to me. Okay, that's one. What will be inside that folder? all your exercises and this file, okay? This file is your course specification. That's one of this. What is this? This is our agreement, okay? Uh, course specification is our agreement on your course, okay? It says here that you must submit all this before I will ask you to do key application module exam. If you will not do it, Okay, if you will not submit all your exercises and your course portfolio, I will not allow you to do the module exam. Okay, you cannot sit. It's like a requirement before you can take the exam. Okay, students are required to complete the formative assessments, which the exercises and the practice test. Okay, I will need you to have 900 score from that practice test. Practice test is 
most likely the same environment, same type of questioning. It's not the same question, it's same type of questioning how the questions are being constructed. So meaning the, the wordings, and the different tasks, how is it going to be on the actual exam? So that's why you have a practice. So I need you to do a practice test, okay, which requires 900 points. The passing in the actual is 700. So this is a practice because in the practice, you will know the, 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 you will know the answers and you will know you can do it several times. That's why we're just requiring 900. Okay, given by the lecture, if the student failed to comply, he, she will not be allowed to take the examination and GUTech will not pay for the examination. Each time you register in foundation or in the, yes, in the courses you have English, math, and IT, whatever exam you're going to take is free. Okay, the only time, even the IELTS, those who did the IELTS, uh, who will do the IELTS, because I think you, you will not do the IELTS anymore. Even those exams are free for them for the first take. Okay. If it will be a retake, meaning you failed, okay, and then you will do it again, that's the time you're going to pay. For IC3, for IC3, you need, uh, you if you will do a retake, Just give me a minute. I need to. Okay, so if uh, you will do a retake in IC3, each exam costs 15 reals, one five. Okay, so is that clear? This is already here written. Okay, there are two possible or three possible um, scenario wherein you're going to pay. Uh, you are going to pay 15 reals. First, if you will not submit your requirements before doing the exam. What are those requirements? Exercises plus the portfolio. You will not finish this. Okay. And the practice test that has 900 points. If you will not submit a copy, I will ask you to have a, a screenshot and then submit to me a copy. So once you got this, okay, that's uh, if you will not do any or any one, you're, uh, you're not complete with this. And that's the time you cannot take the first thing, when we say it's the free one, okay? Then you will be scheduled on a retake where you need to pay 15 reals. It's stated here. This is our contract, ladies and gentlemen. So please remember this. Second scenario, if you have reached an absence, which is 20%, okay? Which is the final warning. So that means you're not going to sit for this examination. That means you're going to do the retake with the 15 reals. Okay. And third, uh, when you fail the exam, okay, you did the first, you, you completed the practice test, you did not absent, but you failed the first take. So repeat, you're going to have to pay 15 reals. Okay. So this is very clear policy and I hope Everybody take this seriously because we do not want anybody complaining later on. Mr. Orban, I don't want to pay. Why will I pay? Like this, like that. Okay, we have an agreement and a simple contract like this. If you're not going to follow, what else will you do when you finish your studies or even maybe not finish your studies? Okay, so this is just 
like a simple training for you to acknowledge and follow rules and policy. Okay, so I hope it is clear. Now again, you failed or you did not do the first take. You do a repeat. You failed again. You, you already paid there, uh, 15 reals. The other repeat, the next repeat, you will pay again. You failed again, the other repeat, you want to do again an exam, you will pay again 15 reals. Okay, there's no limit on when or how many times you will take the exam. The only limit is the time. When do we need to pass the IC3 certification? For foundation students, you must pass the IC3 before uh, you enter the bachelor. Okay, but for last year, we're going to ask the old students, uh, they were affected by the pandemic. So that's a different case. Okay, we will try or we will see first, okay, try to hear this. We will see first if what will happen in, uh, in the coming days. If it will also apply to you, then fine. I mean, the, uh, the exam, we don't know yet how will it be because the first requirement for the exam is you, you must be here and we must be there because we need to input a password for you to take the exam. We cannot give you that password because that is our password. Okay, our as teachers, our, that's our password that we need to key in on your exam before you can allow, you can be, uh, before you can do the exam. Okay, uh, so that's why it needs physical presence for both of us. But since right now, according to the directives, nobody should come to the campus, so we do not know if that will happen on November. If not, then that will be delayed. If not, we'll find out a way because before there is also a proposal to do it online and home base on your house, but we do not know how to do it. Okay, uh, we, uh, no, we did already research, sorry, or we already asked the provider, but I think the timing was at in the morning or and so on and so forth, uh, like two in the morning, one in the morning here in Oman. So it's not possible to do that for the students. So we will see how it will go. Okay, but uh, for now, our focus is on the requirements that I'm asking you to do. Once you uh, already accomplish this, then you will not be stopped to do the exam later on. Okay, whenever it is, maybe if not this November, maybe in the other uh, terms or maybe other months. Okay, so just uh, the only difference is that when will you take it? Okay, but for now we're assuming you can take it on November before the end of the term, which is November. 19 is the end of the term. Okay, 19 of November is the end of the term. That's the last week, the last day of our uh, regular class in our um, term one. Okay, so this is a contract. Everybody should follow. Everybody should do this. If not, if it is violated or it didn't, uh, you didn't uh, follow this policy, then is the only thing that you can do, okay? And because we did some complaint before that why do I have to pay 15 reals? I don't want to pay 15 reals. It's just because, simple answer, you did not follow our contract. This is our contract, this course specification, okay? If even me, I violated anything about this, then uh, you can, that's the time you can also complain, okay? But I think it's clear here, the policies, this attendance policy. Where do we get the attendance policy? I, I mean, where are we going to mark this attendance? I think also it's clear that attendance must be online. So that means on our meetings in MS Teams. Okay, for this week, clearly it will be on MS Teams. But in the future, maybe next week, I'm not sure if I will change this to big blue button or the model. But let's see. Uh, it's not yet final. For now, it's going to be on MS Teams. Okay? 
So this contract is on your uh, MS Teams. Uh, our team there is IT section three. You have to find it. You are uh, added to that uh, group. Okay, you can uh, you can see that. And then you can see the file. Okay, the file you have to read and remember carefully whatever I discuss. Uh, yes, I discuss them. Okay, now I'm going to stop talking for a while. I will ask if there are some questions from your side. Just inform me. I will have five minutes. No questions? Everything's fine? Amen. Yes, Amen. Uh, yes, um, I would like to ask about um, the semesters, or oh, sorry, the term. Uh, so is there a set uh, period for every term so that we can memorize every term how, how long does it uh, is it yeah? okay um there is term each term is nine weeks okay, okay. Now, now we started the term in 20 september so you count that's the first week and then you count nine weeks it will be falling on november 19 which is the thursday of that week the ninth week okay after that there will be one week break and then we will start with term two now if you want it's going to be clear if you go to the website and look for the academic calendar it will be posted there somewhere in the website i just don't know where uh so but that's the pattern nine weeks after this one week third uh, one week break and then we're gonna do term two okay and that composed the first semester two terms now in between semester one and semester two or in between term two and term three there will be two weeks break okay two weeks yes. break for students not for staff only for students Staff are going to work the whole year. Uh, and then again, nine weeks, and then one week break, and then nine weeks again. So that's how it will be. Okay, thank you. Okay, is there any questions? No questions? I think, uh, hmm, actually I'm decide, I'm trying to think if I will start now or not yet, because maybe you're bored. Ah, Malak, yes, Miss Malak, tell me. Um, Mr. Are you going to send us the, the word or the presentation you're talking about? It is on Microsoft teams file uploaded oh, okay i have an uh, connection issues i keep losing track ah um, okay but this is recorded so later on i'm going to give you a link or uh once moodle is uh running we are going to upload that there also but here i think once i finish recorded in your microsoft teams the record of this video of this meeting will be there on our conversation on Microsoft Thank Teams. Thank okay? you. Uh, the file is also there. So if you have some. Yes. Any more question? Mazen, yes. Yes, Mazen Albari. 
uh, the file you sent us on Microsoft Teams, where should we exactly place it on uh, the OneDrive? Because we have the IT file on OneDrive, it has IT and IC3. Should we put this file in IC3 on the uh, OneDrive? Uh, you mean you prepared already an IC3 folder? Yeah, with uh, Mr. Robinson Martin. Okay, so there is an IC3 folder already. Yes. Okay, I will. I will. Uh, uh, I will um, uh, sorry, I'm going to verify with them. I'm going to coordinate with them. Uh, the other IDT, IT teachers, what did they do already with their online classes? So I will just, uh, you know, make it one. Don't have to prepare anything else. So, so it would be easier. Okay. So let me just uh, finalize how and when okay if not of course you have already ic3 so maybe if i want to change the name of the folder i will just ask you to rename and that's it it's the same folder okay and then you're gonna share it to me it was shared to your previous teacher it's fine also it's just i need you to share it to me so but let me finalize first the instruction before we go there okay all right thank you mr for now i'm still going to just do the orientation uh so nothing to worry about right now any requirements and so on so all these things we're gonna do as we go on uh again this is our third week of the whole term so we're actually uh, left with uh how many weeks seven weeks but one week of that should be for the exam so uh, we're expecting that this will be a fast term so it's going to be like five at most six weeks that you're going to do all these uh, exercises that I will ask you to do and also your what they call this practice test okay so as soon as possible let me just prepare all these uh, materials that you needed because the practice test needs an account needs a uh, what they call this a code okay that you will enter so that you can start practicing okay so let us do that maybe at the second or third week no counting from now for a second maybe third week okay so after two weeks then we'll start doing your account on certiport and doing your account on g metrics g metrics is the software or the website where you will do your practice test Okay, so as long as you have Google Chrome on your laptop, that's very, very important. Okay, again, for those who are asking, can we use mobile phone? I told you yes, but not that uh, efficient. So I would really ask you to have a laptop. Okay, and with Google Chrome, it's very important. And uh, as much as possible, um, working uh, properly english based if it is possible or uh, try to convert that to english right now uh, starting your geotech life or your university life you really need to work on english uh, or using the english language okay and with your tools it's very important any more questions any more questions our class is two hours, so expect that next meeting it will not end fast like this because this is the first day I'm just going to do the orientation. Uh, yes, Amen. No, 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 sorry. Somebody's, I thought somebody from this class. Ah, sorry, sorry, you, you, you're the one. Yes, any more questions? Any more uh, clarification? Okay, so read the contract stated there. This meeting, it's recorded. Uh, it's not assuming that you uh, agreed. Uh, it is really an indication that you are here. And even if you're not here in this meeting, okay, that contract is between you and me and Geotech and Foundation Department that that will be implemented okay you cannot uh, tell at the end of this term or at the end of the semester no i cannot pay i will not pay 
I don't know about these things and so on. Okay, so there is a rule that ignorance about the law, okay, is not an excuse. Okay, so uh, even here at Geotech, we're going to implement that. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Shahad. <laughs> yes, quick. Um, mister, I'm meant to be in bachelor's and the uni didn't send me anything, but they told me they accepted that I go to bachelor's and I don't know. No one told me anything about like moving. Uh, Shad, can you talk after this uh, class? Yeah, sure. Okay, I will uh, or let uh, I'll call me on MS Teams. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Okay, thank you very much for coming. I'll stop recording and I'll see you on our next meeting.